Hi, I'm Sue with Creations by Sue, and in this video I am going to show you how to hoop an item on the Durkee Magnetic 4x4 hoop. Alright, so let's get started. So here is the hoop I will be using. It is the Durkee Magnetic Hoop, and this is the 4x4. And here is the towel that I want to put on the hoop. I'll, just one moment. I have it folded in half because this is how I'm going to center it. So I'm going to do the towel upside down because that way the bulk of the towel will be hanging away from the machine instead of in um, behind the hoop and kind of all bunched up between the machine and the hoop. So I am going to be embroidering on this. So that's why I'm putting it here and I'm lining up the middle of the towel with that hole best I can and also looking at this to be sure that that is um, pretty straight with the top which I'll straighten out some more once I get it on here. So this is a bird as you can see that I already embroidered and I want to write on these lines to mom love Sue. So here we go. Next, I'm laying down some um, wash away stabilizer on top of that. And then I'm going to put on my magnets. Actually, I'm not going to put the wash away on. Just one moment. The first magnet I put on is I'm going to come down this way. It's a little awkward with the video doing it this way, but this is the best way I can show you or have you be able to see it. So I take my large, longest magnet. And I look at the hoop and then I make sure that I've got it kind of centered and I do. The edges are here. And then I'm just going to gently pull it up. I'm not like, oops, and the hoop moved a little bit. Hmm. But it looks, it's going to be okay. All right. I haven't used these hoops a lot, as you can see. I'm just trying to find the edges here. They are really strong magnets, so it looks like it's pretty well locked in. Okay, now I will take the other long piece and I'm going to go up to the top, which is right about here. So I'm just going to kind of push up. Feels like it's locking in. And that feels like it's in there. And then I will put down my stabilizer and make sure that it's covered, you know, on both sides of the edges and I can see or feel that it is and make sure it's covering all the area I'm going to embroider. This is a piece of stabilizer that I cut off of a larger piece that I use. That's why it's a little jagged right here. And then I take this part of the, or this shorter magnet, whoops, and I don't let it touch the other magnet if I can help it. And then I'm going to pull it this way until it hits the side and it did. So there's that one. And then the last magnet is the other short one and really wants to grab onto those side magnets. And then I just do the same thing with that one going that way and make sure they're up to the edges. And this is all hooped and ready to be stitched. All right. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be informed of future videos, be sure to press the subscribe button. Have fun embroidering. And I will be showing you how to embroider this on the Brother Embroidery 10 Needle PR1055X in the next video. Bye!